Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist. Today I want to talk to you about my philosophy on clear aligner wear time. A lot of orthodontists are asking their patients to wear their trays for 20 to 22 hours a day. And I recently received a comment from a viewer saying that asking whether 22 hours a day is too restrictive and is that even really necessary or is that achievable? Is it creating undue stress for some patients? So I thought about it and I think that it's a really good question and I wanted to give my two cents. So let's rewind and talk about why 20 to 22 hours a day. Well, that wear time is based on research on the biology of tooth movement. So if you've watched my video on how teeth move, you'll learn that teeth responds best when moving to con light continuous forces. And so the rationale behind that 22 hours a day is that it is idealistic, but still somewhat achievable. When I say somewhat, it means basically you're spending about maybe 20 minutes for breakfast, 30 minutes for lunch, 40 minutes for dinner, and you still have another 30 minutes or so for snacks and for oral hygiene. Now, for some patients, that works because they have a very, they have a lifestyle that is very routine or they are very, they're the patient type that is the perfect type of patients, right? They follow all of your instructions to a T. They're very self-motivated. They're very organized. Uh, they are going to take everything seriously. They'll follow all of your directions. Now, there's a segment of patients that are like that, and they usually are the ones that finish very quickly and, and do quite well. But those are also the patients that can get stressed out if they maybe get behind or they don't wear it for exactly 22 hours a day. They, that creates a lot of undue stress. So that's where that comment comes from. Is it, is it just expecting too much? Then I think about, well, should I ask for 22 hours a day, knowing that the mass majority of my patients will actually hit under that 22 hour benchmark. So sometimes doctors will tell you something more idealistic, but they are happy or even uh, satisfied if you hit below that because they know that that is sort of the benchmark goal, but that is not achievable, but maybe even 20, 20 hours of wear time is more than enough to get your teeth moving in an effective way. So that's where that range of 20 to 22 hours um, comes from. Now I have some patients that, you know, you ask them 20 to 22, but they'll give you 15 to 18 hours. Um, so there's a whole gamut of patients, but, Recently, I've been changing what what I'm saying to my own patients. And so instead of saying, hey, you know, try to hit that 22 hours a day, I'll tell them, give yourself three hours of free time a day from wearing your aligners, from wearing your elastics. I find that that three hour is a really sweet sort of um, range because it's not as restrictive as, as 22 hours a day, which means two hours off having three hours of free time from your aligners feels more comfortable to me. It feels a little more achievable and you're still within that ideal range of wear time, but it's a lot less restrictive. So three hours from having to wear my aligners means that I can have a little more time to not rush through my meals and enjoy my meals. If I forget, I linger, I have a little dessert, that's fine. I also have some time to go rinse my mouth with water or maybe brush my trays or whatnot before putting my aligners on. So I find that that three hours of free time really feels better to my patients. So I've been sort of recommending that, but I wanted to hear what you guys think. Does that make sense to you or are you hitting your wear goals? Are you going way under? What are you doing to kind of wrap your head around that wear time? Let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you later.